I look like an 80s mom going to her work Christmas party. You know what I mean? I'm digging it though. I'm loving it. What is up my beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira, AKA Queera. This is my top tips for amazing lesbian slash sapphic sex. Woo! These are tips you didn't know you needed until now. These are tips I didn't know I needed until recently, okay? This is my Instagram, which is pretty much the only platform I'm posting on right now because I'm trying to stay off social media as much as I can for my mental health. But I will be coming out with a podcast very soon, so stay tuned for that. Follow me on Instagram for updates on that and subscribe to my channel. Welcome, thank you for being here. So let's talk about lesbian sex or sapphic sex. Forgot to mention, this is for the giver. Okay, so this is for like the top or the dom or whatever you want to call it the giver Let's get started first thing you're gonna want to do is set up your space all lovely unless it's spontaneous sex Which I am all for please do that But if it's like something you can control the space you can control set up the space to make your partner feel worshipped loved safe comfortable all of the above make her feel like she is a goddess she is a queen or they whatever their pronouns are so this could include putting on some sexy music lighting some candles making sure that the room is warm so you're not like freezing make sure the space is private so no one's gonna interrupt you no one's gonna walk in safety is so key making sure that someone feels safe is like one of my top tips for sex period even when you're having sex with yourself making sure you're in a safe space where you feel like you're fully able to let go because if you're not in a safe space you're not gonna be open you're not gonna feel the full intensity of the sexual experience so make sure you're safe set up the space so that she feels worshipped woo my second tip for you is being present it is easier said than done woo. this is something that I personally had to work at in my regular everyday life not just in bed because being present is something that you really have to practice and work on because we live in a culture that is go, 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 always distracted. Your mind is always, you know, in these habit loops of, of thinking and dwelling, thinking about the future, thinking about the past, thinking about everything other than the present moment. So if you can practice present moment awareness in your everyday life so that when you go into the bedroom, it enhances the experience so much so that you can, you can be fully immersed in this space with her. One thing that I learned recently is breathwork techniques. Breathwork has been such a lifesaver in my life, especially as someone who has struggled with anxiety for like more than a decade. Breathwork is magic. If you can, before you start having sex with your partner, you can do some deep breaths by yourself, but you could also do it with your partner by holding their hands, looking in their eyes, doing something sweet like that. Really getting your parasympathetic nervous system to a calm state. That way your thoughts aren't gonna jump in as quick. You're gonna be more calm and peaceful and feeling good, feeling in the now. I think everyone can agree when I say this, the most powerful and intense and beautiful sexual experiences are experiences where you and your partner are both fully present in the moment, so. Keep that in mind. Also, remove any distractions. So if your phone is gonna ding, if it's gonna bother you, like put it in another room or like put it on the do not disturb. Like make sure your mom doesn't call in the middle of the session because whoo, is that a mood killer. <laughs> so, also make sure your mom doesn't walk in and hear you because that is, I, uh, I know from personal experience, so yeah. Anyways, my third tip is consent, of course. Ask for consent, always, before you start and also before you try anything new with your partner. Check in with her periodically throughout sex and just ask, hey, is this okay? Are you still feeling good? Do you like me touching you here? This is also incredibly important for people who have sexual trauma. People who have experienced this type of thing have experienced being violated and you wanna make sure that you make your partner feel super safe and that she is on the same page as you and that she wants the experience that 
you're going to be giving her, okay? So just keep that in mind. Please do not take this lightly, okay? This is a very sensitive issue. And even if you don't know if your partner has experienced an SA or anything of that nature, still treat her as if she has. She wants to know what you're gonna be doing to her so that none of her boundaries are gonna be violated again. I would also encourage you to talk about these boundaries before engaging in sex. This is really, really important. My fourth tip is tease her lots. Especially if you wanna prolong the sex. Tease, tease, tease. Especially with the female orgasm, we need a lot of warming up. We can't just go straight to orgasm. That's not how it works for female orgasms. You really have to warm her up to touch. This will build a lot of intensity, a lot of passion, a lot of desire in her body that's gonna make her want more and more. And this goes into my next point, tip number five, is touch her whole body. Give her a full body experience. Don't go straight to the vulva, okay? I personally really like light touches at first, so like using the pads of your fingertips and just like running it along her body or even like with your lips, kissing her all over her body, neck, face, ears. Don't forget about the ears, okay? Collarbone, breasts, stomach, hip creases, inner legs, outer thighs, back, kiss her, touch her, blow, bite, use your nails. You could also use a feather, but ask her what kind of touch she likes because some people like rough, some people like light, and some people like a bit of both. So just ask. The feather is very underrated because it's lighter than a finger and it's really nice to do on like her inner thighs, up her back. Ooh, just get her feeling good all over her body. You can pull her hair, play with her hair. If you wanna blindfold her, that's a bonus, as long as she's cool with it. Then, without seeing anything, all she has to do is feel what's going on with her body, and it's very sexy. You can also use handcuffs if you and your partner are into that. You wanna activate sensation in the entire body. This also allows for a full body orgasm, which is something that I've never heard of until I did this Vegucated course. Woo! So a full body orgasm is an orgasm not just centralized in the genitals, but you feel the orgasm all throughout your body. Let's be honest, Valentine's Day kind of sucks. I feel like society forces us to buy material things to show that we care. A real way to show affection is to give your partner an erotic massage or learn about new oral sex techniques. Showing that you care and that you want to give your partner a significant other an amazing time is like the ultimate gift ever. This video is sponsored by Vegucated. I absolutely love Vegucated. It's a platform that has over a hundred plus courses by experts in the field, sexperts. There are countless courses that you can take on there. Anything about sex, kink, BDSM, oral sex, lesbian sex, it's very inclusive to all races, genders, sexual orientations. They have so many courses with female pleasure in mind. Why not explore your sexuality all year round with your partner or by yourself? This is like the best resource that I could tell anyone for how to learn about sex. Like I said, the Sacred Sex Course was an incredible transformational experience taking it. The Sacred Sex Course involves combining sexuality and spirituality. Those are like two of my favorite things ever. It rewired how I think about sex and how I approach sex. I'm experiencing a way deeper sense of intimacy with my partner. So if you want to give yourself or your partner the ultimate treat on Valentine's Day, Vegucated has a Valentine's Day sale. You can try all Vegucated courses for one day for free. You can also get 50% off the yearly subscription rate using my code Kira. Join Vegucated for only $8.33 a month. There's absolutely no risk because there's a 14 day money back guarantee. You can also gift a loved one a Vegucated gift card as well. Click the link in my description and use my code Kira to get this super sweet deal. Tip number six, listen and ask questions. Make sure you're paying attention to her body language, vocal cues, breathing, and facial expressions. Be really, really tuned into her body and her energy because sometimes people don't always tell you how they feel in the moment and they aren't really sure how they feel in the moment. So it's better to like get ahead of it if like there's something you feel that she's not comfortable with, you can like stop and ask her because the last thing you want 
to do is like be doing something and then your partner later was like, actually, I wasn't comfortable with that, but I was just too scared to tell you. So pay attention to really minor shifts and details in how she's expressing herself. Tip number seven, make sure you're breathing. Like I said about breath work, I've learned that breath work is really, really impactful during sex. Taking long, deep breaths into your belly, into your lower belly and your genital area, and then breathing it out through the top of your spine is like a way to engage your whole body and relax yourself into the sensation. Sometimes we tend to like tense up or even dissociate from our breath and body during sex. So this just allows you to stay present. A really effective way to orgasm, by the way, especially if you're being penetrated is breathe in, tense your pelvic floor muscles and then breathe out and let it all go. Do that while you're being penetrated or if you're about to orgasm. Oh, it just feels really good. Yeah, a little tip for you, a little, little breathing tip. Breath work is for everyone, not just for yogis. And it's really good for your mental health too. This also keeps you like out of your head and into your body. So if you're paying attention to your breathing, you're not thinking about thoughts as much. You know what I mean? And thinking about thoughts gets you out of the moment, which ruins the mood. Number eight, edging. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you haven't heard of edging, it's a really great practice for having a more intense orgasm at the end before you're about to orgasm or your partner is. Stop, change pace, focus on a different part of the body. This increases the energy and the desire. One, it makes the sex last longer. And two, it increases the intensity of the orgasm I found. And again, I'm not a sex expert, but these are just things that have helped to me in my own sexual experiences. Try it out in your own like self-pleasure routine and see how it feels. And my last tip is after you finish sex, don't just run right into the next thing you're gonna do in your day or like start thinking about like what's next. Really spend some time with the person you just had sex with and bask in that energy that you created together. Bask in that good feeling place. Whether you wanna cuddle, spoon, it's a really nice way to finish sex off. Um, and I also feel like sometimes when I'm having sex with someone and then they run out to the bathroom and then like go start cooking dinner or something like that, I'm like, do you not wanna like cuddle with me? Sometimes it feels a little bit dismissive in my experience. Those are my own personal tips for having amazing lesbian or sapphic sex. And just remember that everyone experiences sex differently. Everyone likes different things. So even though I said these are like my top tips, they might not be your top tips or your partner's top tips. So take it or leave it kind of thing. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you wanna see next on my channel. I am open to questions, concerns, any more tips that you have, please leave them in the comment box below. Is it a box? The comments, leave it in the comments. <laughs> How do I do YouTube anymore? I, I don't know. I really hope that if you implement these tips, they help you. Let me know if they do. I will see you in my next video. I love you. Mwah.